the only female characters that should at all have beards in any Lord of the Rings game are dwarves. Anything else and you get this fucking stupidity. Hello, this is Mara Jade and I'm back with another video and the Lord of the Rings Online character creator has added a feature where players can put facial hair on the women. Why? Because they want as many players as possible to feel represented in the game as possible. So wrap your heads around that, folks. They want representation, real world shit, in a fantasy game. It's, again, permeating the Lord of the Rings fandom. Let's just dive right into this, folks, so we can get a gauge of the stupidity coming from the game devs for this online game. So without further ado, here it is. Standing Stone games add more diverse character creation options to the Lord of the Rings Online, including women with beards. Again, the only female characters that should have facial hair at all are dwarves. Why? Because the lore, actual lore, surrounding the dwarven race is that you cannot tell the difference between the male and females. Why? Because females have facial hair, like the males. Lore accurate. You could add it to the fucking game and it would be lore accurate. The update 35.1 release notes discuss the events and changes coming with the game's 16th anniversary and the new Gwathrin wrote notes, the Witch King Citadel raid. Among these changes was a section detailing how the Lord of the Rings Online, quote, is celebrating the uniqueness of every player. If you had, if you couldn't play this game without feeling represented, all right, then you were never a fan to begin with of that game, all right? It's a fantasy game. It's supposed to be separate from real world shit. It should not be reminding people of everyday issues that we face. We want to escape into this fantasy world. If you couldn't escape without at all being prostrated before, without your egos being stroked, you were never fans to begin with of said game or any medium within the entertainment industry. Our latest update celebrates individuality with additional character customization options for the race of men that let players express themselves in new ways, developer Standing Stone Games boasts. We want to make as many players feel represented in the game as possible. Gotta love the fucking buzzwords now. If you, if, again, if you cannot play this, this game, or any game for that matter, without feeling represented, alright, then you are that fucking shallow. All right, I've played plenty of games where there's no character at all that looks like me. But guess what? I don't fucking care because I'm not playing the game to see myself in the game. I'm playing the game because I like the game. I like the story. I like the characters and so forth. I've never had to feel represented. One of my favorite superheroes of all time is Batman. And last I fucking checked, I'm not a straight white male billionaire. And we are introducing new character creation options for your face, hair, and body. We know there is more work to do to offer a wider variety of character creation options, and we will be following up this release with additional options in the future. The blog post goes on to explain, existing characters will remain mostly unchanged bar updated uh, textures, but there are now more shared options between genders, including hair and beard styles, where applicable. Again, for dwarves, fine. Everything else fucking stupidity. I'm glad I never got into this shit. Jesus Christ. J.R. Tolkien and Christopher Tolkien, I might add, are rolling in their respective graves. In addition, body proportion range has been increased, and the new options can be selected via the barber for existing characters. YouTuber Aubrey the Weird One discussed the changes to character creation, noting that characters looked better and lighting had improved. Players can now choose their facial hair and stubble for even female characters. Men have one additional facial hair option than women. I'm guessing they have like one more. You know, editors, do your fucking jobs. The character customizer allows players to adjust their character's girth via the body type slider and introduces more hairstyles for both men and women. Players can also mold the shape of their character's head and face via various sliders for the crown, nose, jaw, ears, lips, cheeks, and more, which I have no problem with. That's pretty much par for the course. 
why they actually had to add facial hair for women, God knows why. I know that's a rhetorical statement in question and shit like that because I get, I know deep down, I know deep down why. But again, again, pandering doesn't work. All right, I've lived by this philosophy and I've actually said this to one of my Iraqi counterparts when I was in Iraq and I was basically monitoring and helping guide along this Iraqi agency be, um, back in 2011. I said, when you try to please everyone, you end up pleasing no one. All right? You're not going to please everyone. There's always going to be some demographic. For, pick, the, pick whatever demographic. There's always going to be some demographic that's not going to like what you do. All right? You can't please everyone. But you have assholes running this company and those in the entertainment industry that try to prostrate themselves before these screeching howler monkeys on Twitter and appease every little fucking demand these dickheads have. But they never, they're never happy. So don't do it in the fucking first place. Just add features like this. Add features like this where you can change the crown, the nose, and so forth. You know, to basically make your characters a little bit more unique. That's all you had to fucking do. Some of those who had showcased a new character customization on YouTube, such as Ponton Finberry, uh, Louis Seven, and Gingen, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, saw a large number of dislikes on their videos for those who utilize plugins to view dislikes, despite them not being the game's developer. There may be a bias, as those displeased over the changes may have gone looking for videos showcasing it with no video from official channels. So, well, sucks to be the ones reporting on that, I guess. Or going over that, YouTuber and comic creator John Del Aros discussed the update, lamenting yet more of Tolkien's lore being bastardized since his estate was sold out from his family's care. Noting that Middle-earth was an allegory for ancient Britain, he felt attempts at woke diversity clashed with a world that was more homogenized. Ironically, he proposed this resulted in it being homogenized in another way. It's always about the represented. Everything has to be represented all the time. To the point nothing is represented, because of course you turn everything into gobbledygook because everything looks exactly the same at that point, Della Rose lamented. Yes, again, when you try pleasing everyone, you end up pleasing no one. All right? You're adding shit where it doesn't need to be added. And when you do that, you turn away the players that were supporting you all along. All right? You're turning your backs on them to appease a demographic that was never fucking interested in your game at all or didn't want to play it until you started stroking their egos, in which case you should be telling yourselves they were never fans to begin with. They were never customers to begin with. Why am I why am I trying to market this game to the demographic that would never play it unless I appease them versus the demographic that wanted to play it, has been playing it, and will continue to play it because they love the game. Because they love Tolkien. Pick a reason, right? Never need anything to feel represented. I don't know what is going through these fucking heads at these companies, but it sure as hell is not their brains. The idea of being fat and having epic ventures unimpeded was one of the changes Della Rose also noting that the image of the 16th celebrations was with an abnormally diverse cast of characters for Middle Earth was ridiculous. It's so sad they have to do this to everything and ruin everybody's experience by making everything exactly the same. So sad about this, Della Rose concluded. So there it is, folks. There it is. I'm so glad I never got into anything like this. I'm really, I'm like just, you have no idea. How glad I am. But there it is, folks. If you've been playing this, Lord of the Rings Online, this is the option that they are adding. This is the option they are adding. And again, I will stress that I do not care if they add facial features for dwarves, for the women in particular, because, again, that is lore accurate. That is lore accurate. You're not supposed to be able to tell males from females because both have facial hair. I would not care about that because, again, that is in line with the lore and the world building that Tolkien established. But seeing this, go fucking figure. But at any rate, what are your thoughts down in the comments below? Do you agree with what they're doing? Do you disagree with the, what they're doing? Have you played this Lord of the Rings online? If you have, what are your thoughts about it? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Are you kind of like, eh, it is what it is pretty much at this point. Let me know all that fun stuff down in the comments below. 
I'll be live later on tonight on my kick, uh, Jade Shadow, playing some more Halo 2 campaign, so come check that out about 7.30 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I don't know if I'll exactly finish the Halo 2 campaign tonight, but I am pretty darn close, so we'll see how far I get. Again, that's 7.30 p.m. Eastern, so come hang out then, and I will be live on my Twitch tomorrow afternoon trying to get a gaming stream in uh, because I'll be babysitting my niece tomorrow evening, so I will not be able to keep a normal schedule. So, and for tomorrow afternoon, I'll be playing some Apex Legends Team Deathmatch, so come check that out. Again, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. This is Mario Jade, catch you on the dark side, and the Earth is going to reverse rotation from how fast Tolkien both... Father and son are fucking spinning in their graves. Holy shit.